you will see at the top that we've added clamps to hold the top of the swivel. It's a fishing swivel that acts as the bearing on the compass magnet motor. And by holding the fishing swivel up here stiff, it prevents a lot of vibration. And that enabled us to break the record and go at 930 RPM. We could also, in the future, improve right here where the axle is connected to the fishing swivel. If we could stiffen that up, that would further reduce the vibrations. But what I've done here is I've set up the uh, Arduino motor, um, the Arduino um, program to uh, auto start. So I don't have to hold the magnets when it first starts up. The reason I do that is because when it starts up, the uh, N20 DC electric motor on the bottom there. Let me get a better picture. The N20 DC motor that is under here, that motor does not have enough torque at a slow enough speed to get the motor, to get the compass motor started turning. So what it has to do is it has to start fast for a very brief time, then slow down. And then I can gradually increase the speed. So that's what I've done in the program. So now it will auto start. And also it won't go too fast. It will only go up to a cruising speed and then maintain that speed for about 10 or 15 seconds and then shut it off automatically. So all I have to do is press one button on the remote control. That's the remote control. I'm pressing the one button and that is going to make the motor auto start, go up to a reasonable speed and spin around for a little while. Now the idea of this is that the magnet, these big magnets here, point north because they act like a compass. And there's an N20 motor under there, an N20 DC motor, that's a small DC motor. And that motor turns faster and faster and is controlled by some electronics that are on top, including a 9 volt battery. So the idea is that this armature, this white disc on top is the armature, will spin by the power of the DC motor pushing against the magnets. The magnets are creating torque in Earth's magnetic field. So this will go up to a roughly cruising speed and then it will run for a few seconds and stop. And it automatically started up. So I don't have to hold the bottom. So uh, I'm quite happy with this model right now. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, rumble, and stay tuned.